Hey guys, welcome on back to another brand new episode of Ezra. Today, we are going to be fishing down here at the backyard pond. And so today, we are going to be fishing with this sick Berkeley crankbait. And this is day two of me fishing with the the uh, the mother load box by uh, Mystery Tackle Box. Well, actually, I have the mother load box up inside my room. I actually forgot it, so... I got this bait. This bait looks sick. And then I got This is all, all this is all the baits that I brought with me. All the baits. I brought this bait right here, color changing baits. This is all I brought. And then I brought some harmony hooks. And then I brought this sick looking crank bait. And yeah, this is this is all I brought. Just three baits. Just I mean two baits. My bad. Really don't know where I got that from, but yeah, I got hooks, Texas rig, and this, this juicy action we got going on. And uh, if you notice something on my t-shirt, I actually got a mic right here. I got it for Christmas. That's a, I actually asked, I, I actually asked for this mic for Christmas. It's a cool little gift I got. And uh, yeah, I'm about to set you guys up and we're just gonna give it a dangle. See if we can't catch a fish and so yeah stay tuned as I got my lure of choice set uh, tied on so we're gonna be we're gonna be starting off with this teeny tiny action crankbait this is what we're fishing with pretty cool colors we got neon blue and then we got orange right here and then we got looks like yellow on the bottom so this is what we're fishing with pretty pretty cool action and also I just realized this spot right here looks pretty shady and I don't know if you guys can see me on the camera but uh and actually this this camera I'm filming with this was actually my very first camera well this is I'm filming this on my uh on my uh, my my very first camera so if you guys remember my very first video I've started that was like eight or nine months ago. I'm, the camera I'm using right now is the very first camera I've ever used. And I'm just going to say that right now. So I just realized it was shady right here. So hope you guys can see me. So we're about to take a cast. And hopefully, hopefully this mic is working. Wow, that's pretty grassy right here. I just realized that it's like really grassy. Very healthy grass, as you can see. This grass is pretty slimy. This crankbait has some pretty good action on it so far. Very light, too. Very subtle. Very light. I think I need to get in a spot where, like, I need to get, like, in a certain spot where it's, like, not as shady right here because right here in this certain spot it's like pretty shady i i can't get over the lighting it should be all right oh yeah i just seen a blow up right there i'm gonna cast right there okay that did not work out that was a fail i cast it literally three feet right in front of me Wow, this lure is is beyond light. I forgot how light this crankbait is. You know what? I might need to change to a Texas rig where I can just like be sneaky with it and just toss it around and try to catch a bass on some beds. It's been a while since I've done some bed fishing, really. You know, honestly, I used to be really good at uh, bed fishing for bass when it's like back like last year back when i was fishing for like bed fish last year i was really good at catching bed fish i don't really know how i did it i was really good at it but i think i'm just gonna switch over to the you no know, i'm just gonna switch over to the 
Texas rig and just tie that on. This this is not really working out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie that on. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I got it tied on. Alright guys, we switched over to the next spot. I switched over to a better spot that has better lighting. And so I also switched over to Smart Baits color changing baits. It says get more strikes. So I got this tied on. I got it tied on like that. That's what we're that's what we're dangling with. So uh yeah, let's see how this see how the action on this thing works. Let's do the old flip that I learned a long time ago. The line's kind of loosened, so uh it's not a big deal. And uh yeah, hopefully you guys hopefully you guys can see me a lot more better. That other spot had horrible lighting. And um, you guys may be thinking, oh, you're, oh, oh, you're making excuses. Oh, no, I'm not making excuses. That certain spot over there had some really bad lighting. This thing's pretty flexible. I just need to straighten up. I just need to straighten my drag out right here in this certain spot. I'm going to do the old twitch. So if you guys... If you guys remember the old twitch I used to do when I was fishing with Texas rig or any type of worm. Oh, I just had a bite right there. We might have a fish. <clears throat> oh wow, I just seen a boil right there. Guys, I'm not lying. I just I just seen a boil. There's some tiny little bass right there. I just had a little nibble. They're wanting it. This little worm. What's the name of this worm? I'm trying to figure out what color this is. I don't know. It's a good color. It's like a green. It's like a greenish, darkish color. Oh yeah, I just spooked off something. There's a fish just hanging out right there. Just spooked it off. This drag's a little loose. Usually I'm fishing with like crankbaits and other heavy baits like topwater lures, but uh, the drag is kind of loose. I'll straighten it. Trying to figure out what the heck that is. It's like a tiny little, it's like a tiny fish. It's like it's like swimming. It's just chilling. I'm just gonna let my bait do the old, I'm gonna let my bait do the deed. I'm just gonna let it sit. Oh yeah, fish just jumped over it. You guys probably can't hear that, but he just he just hopped right over it. Come on. Come on, fish. You know you want it. I don't know what why this fish was just chilling right here. All right, we're gonna take a couple casts, and this if this if this fish can't make up his mind, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's another fish over there. It seems like the the fish right here are just hanging out in like the most shallowest water as possible as they can. These fish doesn't these fish right here don't seem like they want to go out like deeper. They just want to hang out in this certain spot, which don't make any sense to me. 
and it also looks like they they're either moving or either spawning but uh really don't know I haven't, I haven't really figured out these fish it's, I, it's I've just I've just really come down here just to fish I've really every time I come down fishing down here I, I'm not really down here to like figure out the fish anymore like I used to because used to I used to like want I used to like want to get down to the bottom of the mystery on I just really I just really wanted to figure out these fish and that was like a long time ago I don't really do that anymore I just come out here just to catch just to try to catch something like I remember I remember when this pond used to be nothing like this this brings back the old days for me just sitting out on the bank This right here, what I'm doing, it's just, it's, it's bringing back a lot of memories. And, oh yeah, that was a fish right there. These fish are just acting weird. I literally just had a knock. I just had like a, just a, just a nibble. And then for a split second, it, the fish just let go. It's like these fish, I don't know. It's just so weird. They're just sitting in this one spot. Can't even get a hold of them. I had a couple nibbles. That right there was definitely a fish. You can you can see the little quakes they're making. It's just like a tiny little submarine under the water. See, it's like these quakes are just like moving all across the water. All right, I'm just going for one more cast, and if I don't catch any if I don't catch any fish right here, I'm just gonna end the video here. So. I'm trying to. Set the drag here. <clears throat> well, uh, these fish didn't make up their minds, so uh, I'm just going to end the video here. So. So guys, thank you guys for watching another episode of Ezra. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like this mic setup. Uh, I was thinking about doing this uh, setup a little bit more. Uh, I'm not really, this is my first time really using like a mic setup to my shirt. Well, it's not really set up to my shirt, it's set up to my, my chain. But hopefully you guys like this setup I got going on. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next fishing adventure of Ezra. Peace.